Welcome back to Jesse at Home. If you're new here, my name is Jesse, and today we have an intense cleaning motivation video for you. I went like pretty hard. I went pretty crazy. In this video, we're cleaning all the things. We're going to clean this house from top to bottom. If you are new here and you love extreme cleaning motivation videos, then this is definitely the channel for you. I do weekly clean, extreme cleans on this channel. I show you the nitty gritty. I show you the dirt. I show you all the satisfying cleaning. I do a lot of decluttering. I do all like I do it all. I do it all on this channel. So if you love that sort of thing, definitely hit the subscribe button. Um, this is the last cleaning video that I am doing. Uh, before I do the great move out cleaning video I'm gonna be doing some deep cleaning next week and moving some furniture and things like that so if you don't want to miss any of that definitely hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified as soon as my videos go out but uh, let me quit talking and let's get into some more cleaning I figure I would take this time to introduce myself to those that are new to my channel. My name is Jessie, like I said. I'm a stay-at-home mama of two kids, and uh, my husband usually travels for work, so I'm usually kind of holding down the fort while he is away um, traveling up and down the East Coast. We live in Maryland, um, but as you know, everyone is kind of on a stay-at-home order. He's been home for the past like month, as is the kids. They just started their fourth marking term schoolwork. They basically haven't had any kind of schooling since they were told to stay home in the middle of March. So they are learning how to adjust and do that um, after having such a long break. And we've been packing up our house. We are moving. We had uh, had this plan in motion since the beginning of the year and it's finally coming. Like we're buying our dream house in the middle of quarantine. It's very interesting. It's something I will never forget um, in my entire life. Uh, moving and buying a home is still considered like essential. Like it's allowed. It hasn't been banned or anything as of right now. Obviously it has to be sort of, um, you know, distance we have we might have to docusign we might not be able to like sit around with our realtor to sign papers and everything like that I don't know how it's gonna go I'll definitely let you guys know how it goes it's pretty interesting time but I still think um, I still think it's all worth it I mean if anything we got a very very low interest rate on the new house which is really exciting um, but yeah everything around our house is getting packed up and we are moving next week should be the big move out vlog Tell me what you had to go and drive me so crazy. Now I'm feeling lost without you, and I just can't be without you, baby. Won't you all night long? Won't you all night long? Tell me what you have. I do know about the garbage bag hack. That way, you know, you can just take it from hanging and you throw the bag over, and then you can just hang it right up and pull the bag down. But um, since we are using a moving pod, it is nicer and easier to move boxes than it is a bunch of random bags everywhere. So like everything that we possibly can go in boxes are going in boxes. That way it fits nice and tight from floor to ceiling. Everything is uniform and it, it just it's so much easier to pack and move that way for us.
Alright you guys, I'm getting ready to go in there and vacuum and um, really deep clean the closet. It's kind of hitting me, it's kind of hitting me, I'm getting a little like happy sad, it's a little bittersweet. Um, I do do love this house, but it is time to move on. Um, and also I wanted to share with you, this video is sponsored by Begot, this is the BS. 800. This is a stick vacuum. They sent me this so I could try it out for you guys. I don't know if you noticed in the last couple of videos I've been using it because I really wanted to give my honest and true opinion. I always do. I never want to share with you guys anything but the absolute best and this thing is thebomb.com. It really really is like I am incredibly impressed by this vacuum. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and share with you all the awesome features and get to deep cleaning this closet. Okay, one of the coolest things about this vacuum, this stick vacuum, is that it stands up on its own. I can't tell you how amazing that is, how helpful that is. Um, it's very sleek and I really like the design. It has easy um, push buttons to make it go um, high power, low power, on, off. A really slim canister and it also breaks down it comes with it also comes with two kind of cool attachments it has the brush attachment and then a crevice tool as well and it breaks down um, the long stick comes apart so that you could use the attachments or also you can just connect the canister to the bottom to have like more of a, like a handheld vacuum for the stairs I will be using this vacuum in all sort of capacities today. I'm gonna to be doing it on my carpet, hard floors, wood floors, tiles, um, stairs. I'm gonna be using the heck out of this so I can show you just how awesome it is. Like I said, I am so impressed with all of the attachments and the suction power on this thing. It really is a power horse of a stick vacuum and I like how easy it is to go from the extender right to the vacuum. And the BS800 cordless stick vacuum provides powerful cyclonic suction to clean up all of the mess. BS800 utilizes two adjustable speed modes to extend the working time up to 30 minutes. The soft anti-static carbon fiber filaments capture dust from hard floors and crevices. Dustbin emptying makes emptying easy and hygienic, no need to touch the dirt. I do have a link in the description box below if you are curious about um, checking out this Begot BS800 for yourself. There is a 25% off code also so that you can kind of get a little bit of a deal um, from using the link in my description box. My heart is beating to your drum And I'm blinded by the sunshine in your eyes Not thinking twice in my this down Although I know you're all I want How could I crave something so bad Can't help myself It was finally time to back up underneath my sink and um, this stuff isn't things that I need every single day. Um, I do use it probably weekly but um, I'm just going to have to just wait and um, 
you know, use it when we unpack at the new house. Like it has things like my, um, my different curling irons and, uh, like nail polish and things like that. And I'm like, I don't need all of this right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pack that up and, uh, just, I'll see it when we move, when we move to the new house and I start unpacking. Hopefully I'll have room for it over there. Can't help myself. to say wrapping up all of my fragile things especially all of the uh, Ray Dunn products that I have around my house the Ray Dunn is that white ceramic pottery with all the words on it that's pretty much all over my house not so much anymore because I have most of it packed away it's just taking me forever and a day to pack away all the Ray Dunn because it is fragile and I want to make sure it doesn't get broken in the move so but that is literally that's been the worst just to pack up all of that stuff and wrap all of it like Man, I've used so much bubble wrap, so much paper, uh, so much extra pillowcases and pillows and things like that just to kind of keep it all safe, um, but it is worth it to take my time and make sure I wrap it uh, really good. Light me up, don't you stop, cause tonight it's on the line. Show me how you get on down, close my eyes, take me for a ride. I can't get over how big my bathroom looks without that little table. That table was very useful and I really did enjoy having it in there, but looking at this video as I'm sitting here editing it, I'm like, wow, my bathroom looks huge without that table sitting right there. Um, just basically my whole house just looks so much bigger without, without all my clutter. My husband even told me, he's like, man, I really like the way the house is looking lately. I'm like, stop it. I like my decor. I like my sort of... Uh, collected clutterish look of the way I decorate you know that farmhouse abundant a farmhouse I should say definitely not modern farmhouse or minimalist fun farmhouse I go for the let's go crazy with everything farmhouse vibe in my house I'm 
So this spot is a little bit embarrassing. This is all of our extra blankets. A lot of these blankets are like things um, that were made for us or given to us. Um, and some of these are just sheets. I do need to go through the sheets, but I kind of kept waiting to the last minute because we have, like I said, been using some of them to wrap breakables in like kind of stuff boxes. But it's finally time to just take all of them and stuff them in a box <laughs> and I'm gonna go through them later when we get to the new house because I don't even know if we'll have a linen closet in the new house and I need to like go through and see exactly what we have um, in there I was kind of embarrassed I really don't even go in this closet I keep my extra sheets in my master bedroom and the kids sometimes go in there and um, get an extra pillow or blanket for their friends when they stay over but I really haven't touched this closet in a long time there's actually wrapping paper in there and wrapping supplies and things like that so I don't even know what I was thinking with this organization. And look at us, we found jackpot, we found the lottery, extra toilet paper. Hooray! And now it's time to pack up the kids' uh, bathroom. They were doing schoolwork while I was doing all this cleaning. I did have them come in here and say, okay, what do you need immediately? What can I go ahead and pack away? So they grabbed a couple things and everything else is going in the box. Like a song, like a 
I definitely love how easy it was to just break this little stick vacuum down and have it um, vacuum the stairs like this. Like, I really like how this vacuum really is an all-in-one um, cleaning tool. So I'm not actually going to be touching anything in this room because this is the pile of stuff that we're going to be putting in the moving truck and it's just going to get more and more crazy. My husband still has to work from home at this table as well. So I'm not really going to be cleaning in here, but ugh, this room is just going to get even worse than this. It's just going to get piled with stuff and it's going to be complete madness. It was finally time to wash those curtains I took down earlier in the video. I had meant to go ahead and switch the laundry over and put those in as soon as I um, took them down in the morning, but time got away from me and I just got on a roll with cleaning everything else, but it was time to get those going. One of the last places that I'm going to really pack up is the kitchen. I already packed up my extra um, like crock pots and things like that and emptied out the um, cabinet above the microwave which had my like baking supplies like cookie cutters and things like that and like cookbooks but I'm really gonna wait last last minute to pack up my kitchen because like I said we're all home we're all in quarantine like we're gonna need that up until the like the last day it's not like we can say okay we're gonna go eat out for a week because we can't we're all stuck at home so um, the pressure is on the last like few days to go ahead and pack it all up really quick really safe and um, make sure that it all gets done.
And this is my disappointment of when my husband said, oh, I did the uh, dishes for you. And then I open it up and he never hit start. So the dishes were in the dishwasher and they never ran all morning when I was upstairs cleaning my heart out. They weren't, they weren't going. So it means I had to go ahead and hand wash the dishes that were left in the sink. I was like, oh good, I don't have many dishes to do today. Nope gotta finish hand washing the rest of these um, I do thank him for at least attempting to start a load because he is busy working in the dining room while I was upstairs doing all the things so you know it's a team effort to get this house going I pack up as much as I can and he's the muscle in putting it all away and of course when we get to the new house he will help me unpack as much as he can as well but I kind of like I'm a control freak in that aspect where it's like, no, let me pack it up. I know I, I know what I need to do and let me unpack. I want to figure out where I want everything. So I do accept help and everyone does help, but really I'm kind of a control freak. super satisfying leave me a comment below if you love a good sink scrub out just cleaning it cleaning it scrub 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 i love that mrs meyers baking soda cream cleanser i think i say this in every i'm like a broken record i say it in every video but this stuff is the best
So I decided I was just ready to go ahead and roll this um, rug up. This rug is new. Um, I tried to do the whole no rug under the couch, but we just like having the soft, cozy rug under there. But I figured it was time to go ahead and roll that up and pack that away as well. I'm trying to pack away as much as possible um, sort of miscellaneous things that we that we can live without, and a rug is definitely one of those. But when I pulled the rug out, like dirt and dust got everywhere. It's crazy how much um, like food and crumbs and things that a rug can hide, especially underneath the couch. Thank you so much for choosing my video to get you motivated today. I love hearing what you guys tackled um, while watching this video or after watching this video. So definitely leave me a comment with what you got um, done in your house. If you do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe. Subscribing definitely helps out my channel. It really means a lot to me when you hit that subscribe button and you come back week after week to support me. Um, and I want everyone to have a happy weekend, happy Easter, even though we're all stuck inside. Um, and hopefully I will see you guys next week with my big extreme clean move out um, video. 